We've got Chris Judd in the house just tearing it to shreds. The Duke uh, got a smile he can't wipe off. He's got two weeks off. He doesn't, he's actually got a, uh, he's got a little firm downstairs. We've got uh, Purple who's got the scarf on looking magnificent. And we've got the Chief who's ready, of funny, course, uh, to uh, ship. And now, Chief, before I even ask for the sting of ship off, I've copped a bit of a bashing this week, so I would I would hope that probably I'm not in there. Would, no, that, would no, that be you fair? Are. You are. You're Jeez, I hate you. I actually think that word applies to you. I'm no, like, we'll see, and, Jim. And that's said with warmth. We'll see. All right, we'll uh, see. hit it. Ship the hell off. Ship off. Ship off. Ship off. Find a little boat and ship the hell off. <laughs> going to start in uh, the world of international football or soccer, oh, yes. and uh, you might have read about it, but in Sweden, a player was sent off for excessive flatulence. <laughs> the ref said it was uh, unsportsmanlike behaviour. This is a, a Swedish player by the name of Adam Linden Lindqvist. Yes. He was sent off. This ref's obviously never heard of the saying, better out than in. Mm. I mean, at what's the, we, we're not allowed to even have a wee on the field anymore, are we? No, you, you can't you, you spit probably... in the direction. I mean, you, you, the body actually gets rid of these uh, <laughs> fluids and gases for an obvious reason, Jim. Uh, because it. We're, we're, we're trying to get them out of the... What does the ref expect you to do? You would have been a non-ground fighter. <laughs> I have no doubt about that, Chief. I'm not sure we were ever going there, Jim. But I reckon you would have <laughs> The point been. is, this ref needs to ship off because he hasn't got a clue what Work he's doing. Work its way out of that freckle. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> In the end, Chief, it had some size about it. That's all I'm saying. So, Jim, we've had discussions about people that lip off when ship off. All right, off I'm off. sorry, Chief. Sorry, I apologise. You're, you're moving yourself to the top of the tree, Jim. 14th apology for the week. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. The next five minutes will be on you. I'm in a sorry, moment. Chief. Uh, State of Origin have to tip in there. I don't know if you watched Game Two. Uh, absolutely magnificent. It was Corey Parker's uh, last home Origin for Queensland. They touched up New South Wales. So it's the tenth series in eleven years. Mm. But the Queenslanders are beating New South Wales, so all those Blues fans can ship off, suck it up, <laughs> stuff you, sucked in. Uh, very, very good. Um, what I did want to talk about was Amy Park. Now, mm. I don't know if you're... You're probably not a rugby fan, Jim. You're no, not, uh, Union, you're talking about? Yes. The test mm. match I saw, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Hence why yep. I said rugby. Yeah, well, sorry. <laughs> I would have said league if I was talking oh, about rugby league. But there you're from difference. the northern states, Chief. Yes, okay. If you've ever, and I've watched the last couple of tests, we've yes. been bashed by the Poms, mm. and you watch the Melbourne Rebels play there. Whenever there's a scrum, the oval turns into a sand pit mm. because the turf just comes straight up. And we yeah. know the problems that the Telstra Dome had in the early uh, couple of years when it was yep. called Death Valley and the like mm-hmm. and all those sorts of things. Uh, this is so bad, the surface, that they've actually now got uh, the um, the uh, Melbourne Olympic Park Trust that is responsible for the ground service has actually got an ultimatum from the Melbourne Rebels and the ARU that if it's not fixed by the weekend they can pay for the game to be held somewhere else. Jeez. That's how bad it's going. Mm. This is a centrepiece stadium mm. in Melbourne, the sport, what we consider the sporting capital of the world. Get it right or ship off to the <laughs> Melbourne Olympic Park Trust. Um, two more I wanted to have a look at. One was a bill uh, that was introduced to the US Senate in light of the Orlando nightclub shooting. Mm. So they go to the US Senate and they introduce a bill to restrict the sale of guns to people that are on terrorism watch lists. Got knocked back. Can anyone for the life of me tell you what you lose by stopping people that are on terrorism watch lists from having guns? No. What's the downside to not passing this law? Don't know, Chief. So to the entire political system of the United States, <laughs> yeah. which is largely influenced by the NRA, yep. who will probably be waiting for me out the front, they can all ship off. <laughs> yep. And finally... Uh, it's this a very different is a, one tonight, Chief. Yeah, it is. This is a little closer to home, this one. Right. Um, Sam Newman might be running for Lord Mayor. Yes, this is ridiculous, Well, they've approached Jim. him, this so maybe is, have a think about it. And he's actually having a think about well, it, Jim. I don't know how big a think, but he's, he's having thinking, a think. He's thinking, Jim, this is ridiculous. Why? Do you honestly think, with all the things wrong in Victoria, we need the fossil taking charge? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what Samuel should do is stick to what he does best, that's Which sitting is? at home and breathing, and just <laughs> let <laughs> others run the state, all right? So, fossil, <laughs> ship off. <laughs> Very nice for the oh, chief. I like it, chief. It's good chief. Yes. I, I, it was a it was a nicely yeah. delivered one too, chief. I, I felt like yeah. he had a bit of venom. there. I think he lifted because Juddy was here. Yeah, I think he nearly got in for dressing up too. <laughs> <laughs> nearly. I think Juddy's drawn the best oh, out of you, chief. Yeah, I think it's like a. You are a bit of a star enjoyer, chief. I think that's true. <laughs> We saw it with Nick Revolt. <laughs> Nick Revolt came in a couple of weeks ago and he suddenly got a little yeah, bristly. Nah, well. really gets nervous around me. You <laughs> know. <laughs> Jim, he and he can't help it. That's okay. <laughs> he, he doesn't react to, react to anyone, too. No. He doesn't, too. Oh, you you actually is. know that. I think he's nah, just a there's bit no of a, predator. A star porker. 
<laughs> that's what I'd call you, uh, cheap. And now that Juddie's come in, you've just you, that's your best ship off for a couple of months. By a long way. Yeah, by I, don't, a long I think way. that's actually I true. I noticed he was cheap. scrambling some extra notes down. Uh, he was. When Juddie came Juddy, in, he went geez, to I didn't know Juddie was coming in. I just added a couple <laughs> of little extra. <laughs> and a, and a couple of intellectual <laughs> ones because he's <laughs> in the market. Yeah, absolutely. Jude, could you do me a favour, please? Here we go. Could you open the commentary box windows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to spear Jim out the front. <laughs> Oh, I do oh, like, I like it. it when he resorts to violence. No, I know. We know we've got him. I do like it. Oh.